I'm done. I am. I'm done with the reverse boosting bullshit. I'm done with it. Now this is Rick, ladies and gentlemen. And if you don't know who Rick is, well, a lot of YouTubers seem to know who he is. So if you're joining for this first time, Rick, let me give you a little background about Rick. I myself am not really a fan, but it's only because of the fact of the way he talks. I don't have anything personally against him, but things that he says can be controversial. Hence the reason why stuff's been going on. Rick here is a Call of Duty player like me. We both have similar interests in common. His name is The Rick. He's very passionate about COD. Unlike most people, he likes to express it in a strong way, which I have no problem with it. I'm just a person who doesn't just like his content. Not the person, but the content. It's not the fact that I'm against him. It's just the way he says things particularly. To each their own, I still watch his videos because I just wanna see what he talks about. Now I can't sit there and say that this man is a hacker hunter because, well, I don't know. He doesn't refer to himself as that and although maybe he is, I haven't seen him say that or maybe I just missed it. What he likes to do is go in on YouTubers though, in a certain way. So that puts him in a pickle and hence he's at this point now. Let's move on. First, let's go a few months back and let's talk about Mark of a Hero. Two or three months ago, Mark of a Hero doxed my fiance on his live stream. So this is how the story goes. Yes, Mark of a Hero docks this guy's fiance. But hold on, wait, wait a second. Before we go forward, let's go backward just a little bit. The Rick, as he calls himself, is actually named Nathan. He doesn't give his last name, which is actually pretty smart. He's been a COD player since about nine years old, which is in Modern Warfare two days. He's his mid twenties, you know, whatever. He opened his channel June 30th, 2020, which in my personal opinion, I don't know if that was COVID time or not. Approximately 10 months ago, he actually started uploading to his channel, which at some point during those 10 months, one of his videos, he stated that, well, that's when he proposed to his girlfriend to become his current fiance, which he's there now. At some point in his videos, he stated that he was just gonna upload COD videos and talk about, give some kind of commentary. But as time progressed, he pretty much moved into talking about other YouTubers. But there's a catch. The things he was saying in his videos were not pretty much just talking, but actually accusing, which I could understand is called hacker hunting. There are many other people that do it and I could understand why they do it. I myself had said a couple things here and there about people because well, we're just humans. When we feel passionate about things, we tend to say things because we feel those things towards, especially, you know, video games. Now fast forward, let's move on to the next part. Two or three months ago, Mark of a Hero doxed my fiance on his live stream. Doxter. I got the clip saved on my phone. He deleted the stream right after it happened because he knew he fucked up. Okay, so Mark of the Hero did some dirty crap. I understand that. Let me tell you a story about me. You see, I used to stream Black Ops 2 among other games. Since Black Ops 2, I got doxxed approximately about five times, which doesn't include Warzone. I was a target of hackers for a while. The same thing that Mr. Bobby is going through about right now. When this happened, they got a hold of everything that was me. This included my mother's name, my address, previous addresses, and certain things like that, even phone numbers. Instead of one, there was a group. These were no ordinary hackers. They were people who actually sold hacks during Warzone 1. These people went as far as to even calling my wife. And to this day, they still call through Discord at times. So doxing is something that I know a lot about, and I can relate. Let's move on. You guys, I have no idea what happened because I did stream yesterday, but I deleted it for obvious reasons forever was there. Now, let me just say deleting stuff probably wasn't the smartest thing to do. I'm pretty sure I hope you got a copy of it because of the fact that maybe just maybe you got a case. Let's move on. And obviously I was nervous because I don't know how the hell he found out this information. I don't know if it was him. I don't know if it was somebody in his chat, one of his Discord members. I, don't, I have no idea because I made sure my shit was locked down. Well, from experience, I do know this. The way most hackers get your stuff is because they jump into games with you and possibly die from you. And well, hacking gives you a lot of information more than you could pretty much perceive. How do I know this? Well, because I've been victim a lot of times. So don't think that because you stop doing something, people stop having information because unfortunately with Call of Duty nowadays, it's all a public server. Let's move on. And at that point when my fiance's name was doxxed by him, the same day, somebody, not him, somebody posted pictures of my family, zoomed in on their faces, 
posted pictures of my family on Twitter. To reiterate what I said earlier, I hope at this point you pretty much should have been taking pictures or screenshots of whatever it is because unfortunately, you know, if you don't have any kind of proof, if something does happen, how is your wife going to sit there and say something happened or this is when it began? Always take definitive proof. Pictures, screenshots, whatever. Let's move on. I can I can take people talking I can take it, man. I'm not worried about it. I was literally debating top streamers that were in my chat with the little check mark next to their name. I was doing good. I was doing just fine. Not worried about a thing. But towards the end, about 10 minutes left or five minutes left of the stream before I went to football practice, two Call of Duty YouTubers, not even going to name them because like I said, I'm done with the drama after this. Well, the first thing you said was you could take crap. And I got to sit there and say this because I think we all think it. If you're willing to get on the internet and sit there and give people all this energy, then you have to understand you should be able to take the energy, which you said. But at some point, as much as it's not right, you got to prepare for stuff like this. What you're doing is you're going after people and people tend to not like it, especially in this day and age. People tend to get bent out of shape over a ton of things. Look at them. As you can see, it's proof that some part of them are pretty much getting unhappy or what they'll do is they'll just sit there and say it's their fans. Whatever the case point being is, when you dish it, you got to be able to take it. And I know you understand that. With that being said, I understand that doxing is bad, of course, because since I've been a victim myself, when you slander somebody, well, unfortunately, they come after you. And if you're saying there's two YouTubers that came in there and said stuff, you pretty much should not delete anything. Again, you should go back to taking screenshots and take care of all this as appropriate. Never delete. Again, never delete. Never have I ever went into somebody's personal Twitter, whatever, searching for somebody in their personal life when doing my exposing videos. I'm not a weirdo, guys. You guys might think it's weird that I care so much about a video game and content creation. I just care about being honest. Well, I believe that's true, that you have never went into anybody's Twitter or whatever that crap they might have to dox somebody or talk stuff about them. And that's honorable, but you have in general just straight talk stuff about them. You called them a certain names, like, well, names I'm not going to say here. You got to understand that upon with accusing them of cheating, which is understandable, you've also just straight up called them blatant names, which for me, if you're calling me names, well, that sounds like fighting words to me. Secondly, the most importantly, people die because of money. People murder because of money. And sometimes in some way or another, if you're talking stuff about somebody and accusing them of this or that, they'll pretty much take that as an offense, a full offense and a full attack on their money. The world we live in, people don't serve people. They serve money and discard people. It's unfortunate, but that's kind of how it's going. Some people will even treat animals better than you. And let's move on. But I am going to let them win this one. I'm going to let them make me stop doing these videos because I don't think it's worth it. I know how 2024 is. I know how the internet is. I know how so many people in the world can be very weird. Well, you claim that you know how people can be very weird. So then this shouldn't be unexpected. Yes, we don't expect to be doxxed, but you got to understand there's got to be some kind of head hunting going on. And again, let me reiterate what I said earlier. You got to understand that if you're going to use certain words, especially towards people, well, we all don't take those words so kindly, especially when it comes to money. I don't approve of anything these people did because also I've been a victim of this, which if you really want proof, I can provide that. In my opinion, I think you should probably come back and do things a little different. It's not hard to sit there and not call people names, and it's not hard to sit there and be so, you know what you do. I'm not here to bash you, bro. I'm just here to sit there and say that certain things just don't need all that energy. We all love the game that you love. We're all with the same mission. It's just there's ways to go about it in a much better way. With that being said, don't take any offense to this. I'm just kind of pointing things out that maybe somebody's seen. Maybe they didn't see. I'm not trying to take their side because, again, I've been on that side. I know how it goes. And it wasn't just once. It was way more than once and happened way longer. It was months. And still to this day, do I deal with it from time to time. That being said, I hope everybody hits that like. I do appreciate the support. I'm not saying this in any negative way. I'm just trying to sit there and point out things because sometimes we kind of get so focused on things that we forget others. So with that being said, please hit the like. And if you want, if I'm good enough, hit the sub. And yeah, doxing is not good. It's not cool at all. 
Did I cause it? You can say that. You can make the argument. I never went personal. I talked about gameplay. It is what it is.